Must 2016, there was one man that walked into the best insurance ring before anyone else. That was Derek Smith. How was that moment walking into the Crafts Best Insuring? It was absolutely wonderful. People had been asking me throughout the day um, if I was nervous. And uh, I said, no, I'm not nervous at all. I said, I'm just excited and really can't wait to get on with it. And when uh, Simon walked me out, it was just wonderful because I knew it was about to happen. Um, and what did you think of the, the seven dogs that came in under you? They all had things to commend them. Uh, they were all good representatives of the breed and it was just going to be um, one of those decisions that was personal to me uh, of the performance of the animals on the day. Some of them I've judged before, some of them I'd never judged before. And I, I thought there were seven good dogs, but for me, um, the two I put up, you know, stood away from the rest. Well, Marie and Devon, it's been a month since you won Best in Short Crafts. What has that month been like? Oh, it's just, it's been, it's just flew past. It's just non-stop. The first week was just mad. Um, people turning up at my front door, <laughs> photographers, um, you know, reporters turning up at work. People are coming in, me, I'm a dog groomer, um, yeah, yeah. and people are coming in my shop to wish as well from the local area. Wow. <laughs> Customers coming in. Uh, my house looked like a florist for about <laughs> 10 days. Um, it's just, you know, people have been so lovely though, really lovely. Um, cards, letters, emails, just amazing. I actually got a card today, which all it, all it had on was Marie Burns, Crufts Best in Show winner, County Durham. <laughs> and it came through the door. Wow, that's impressive. I've had letters and phone calls and cards from all over the world. Uh, not one person has said, well, we thought, you know, such and such could have been the winner. Everybody seemed to think the Westie was an easy winner. And uh, it was so well received that they felt it had been the best, Cruft's best in show winner for a long, long time. And what was that day like? At the beginning of the day, you were just hoping, I assume, to get through the class. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you finished Cruft's best in show winner. Oh, God. You honestly kind of find the words to describe it, you really can't, I mean, it, I was bursting really, I think the next day was when it sunk in, when I woke up and thought I won Best in Show at Crufts, and I started <laughs> to cry all by myself, um, it sunk in then, yeah. yeah. The pinnacle of your career? Definitely the pinnacle of my career, without any shadow of a doubt. Yes, I can remember those seven dogs as if I'd had them all in my lounge yesterday. <laughs> yes, I can. Um, and Give us a, a brief critique of that dog, Devon. Well, a brief critique. I just loved everything about her. I mean, uh, her head, her eye and expression, her ears. She had the darkest eyes imaginable. She was so beautifully to go over because she was so beautifully made. Um, she even had black nails. Her pigment was so good. And when she moved, every time she stopped, she stopped totally four square and full of animation and then presented to perfection uh, by the lady. You know, she was, well, she was just a star to me. Obviously, the, the next question is, what's next for Devon? Well, um, Devon's going to retire from the UK, from showing in the UK now. Um, I think Best in Show at Crufts, she kind of top that, you know. Um, she, she may do some, some overseas showing, but that's something still we're still thinking about, yeah. How hard was that decision? Very hard. Uh, in one way, it was hard. She's a young dog. She's just maturing, just coming into her own. Um, she's a pleasure to show. I love showing her. She loves it. She loves it as well. Um, but I just feel that, yes, yeah, she could maybe go on and do a little bit more, but nothing's going to top that, ever, <laughs> ever. So, you know, she's just done that bit. She really has and done us really proud. So, you know, that's it for her here. And we've, we have loved following Devon because we saw her emerge at Blackpool at the middle of last year and seeing her mature and grow and win along the way has been fa fantastic for us. Yeah, I mean, it's been great for me watching it as well. You know, she's, she's had some really good coverage um, and, she, and she has been admired by a lot of people outside of my breed from the programme, yes. from, you know, a winning in the newspapers and things like that. So she, I think she's the one that's really, you know, paved the way for us. Yeah. Um, but she's not the only one that's been winning big for you, is she? No, no, I have 
three of our half sisters. Um, the following year, we mated our mum again, and we kept three girls. So there's been four champ shows this year, and two of my puppies have had two each. <laughs> <laughs> That's an incredible run you're on, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Um, you have you have sometimes have two or three good years, you know, and then two or three quiet years. And you just have to accept that as when you're showing dogs, you know. And we just enjoy it while it's happening. And then when it's not, you know, we just work hard and try and get there again. I mean, I'd never spoken to the lady before Crufts, and I only had a few minutes with her at Crufts. But um, her and her family are so dedicated to the Westie breed. And uh, I think it's nice that someone like that, that has a good dog, uh, can have a chance of winning something that is so coveted in the whole of the dog world.